Previously on Cyberpunk 2077. She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. Mm. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Listen, need to find out. I really don't want to talk about her. Uh. Know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Real question. Evelyn Parker, she work here? Mm. Hmm. Give me a moment. That pause is real. Evelyn's not available at this time. Now back to Cyberpunk 2077. Episode 13. Alright, number 9, right? Fuck it. Hmm, this place is... alright. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. See the cameras right there. Hi, I'm Sky, and you must be Valerie. Um, okay. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Well. Looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How the fuck do you know that? How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Is this about to be a therapy session? There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest most hidden desire so fill my desire by answering this question then Looking for someone named evelyn parker used to work here know her know where she is you need answers that's clear just not the ones you think you need asked you a simple question evelyn parker not the most important thing you're looking for is she what do you mean i can smell your fear you're afraid of something else. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna have a therapy session with this fucking... Okay. You're just gonna talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why did the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Speak. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. Hmm. Think you know me well. Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. <sighs> wow. This is basically opening up a Pandora box full of wounds. Hey, talk to me. had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone too. Except I won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared. 
Because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? The best? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. Just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Yeah, basically. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. <sighs> People I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction the end but as a change that thought alone could save your life hmm I think I might just be afraid so I imagine these things to distract myself from the thought of the void because that's about what greeted me before fear is your most effective weapon in the fight against death really so what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City knowing a stray. I keep up with everything that's changing. You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it. Damn. Thanks. Uh, for all this. Jeez. Doesn't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. You know what? Thank you. Thank you. Because right now, some of these things that you're saying to actually apply to me in my real life so honestly I needed this so thank you Samurai oh, what's going on god damn this thing threw me out sorry about I need that to talk, to you. talk you pulled the emergency brake ripped me out just to talk yeah what happened Did I do something wrong no, it's not you. A lot of things have been going on in my head lately. But this was different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here. Come back. But I need something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths. Their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. Um, uh, bro. You gotta help me. Please. I'm not here to fuck you. Threat, but she could be in trouble. I just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. Yeah. In case you haven't noticed, Doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? 
Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Hmm. Okay. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody would care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Right. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there and tell me a number? Eleven. Appreciate that doll face. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? Check for clues. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll. Like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2. I think. Thanks. Appreciate that. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Here's Evelyn's booth, so let's check this out. The client hacked her. Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah. I'll take a look. Yeah, it's uh let me close this. Am I not able to lock this? Fuck it. Blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Hmm. Yeah, I see a lot of blood stains, and the camera's right there. So no wonder the guards were able to just quickly come and assess the situation at this point. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out. Wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Evelyn's right there doing her service with her client. Question is, when does it get ugly? Shadow malfunction. Well, client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. Huh. What do you think? Cyber psychosis? Missing port's still gnawing at my mind, though. Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A net runner? Weird. That would be fucked up if that's the case. Mm, no issues. Minding my business. Shit, VIP. Yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Problem. This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be I love in. distractions. Damn, I don't have technical ability. Has been Fuck. What now? Stay calm. Damn. Okay. Can I go through here? 
Fuck. Going back upstairs. In a minute. I need to piss first. <sighs> Oop, sorry. Oop, sorry. So I'm gonna put you to sleep because maybe you have something that I can take and I'll take that gun too. Thank you. What's good? Sweet. Bye. Alright, let me go and find Tom because at this point... Uh, would there be any trouble? Okay, no trouble. I'm just walking, 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 walking. Better keep this short and sweet. Of course. Shut up. Maybe something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. Here to talk. To you, specifically. Not to be with the doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. Good. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Hmm. Need to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. What the fuck? Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Pick one. Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Better be right. You better be fucking right. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her boots. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Hmm. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. How convenient. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but everybody calls him Woodman. I don't really know why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. All right, thank you. Let me head to Woodman's Good office. Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show. The skull sponges and dog. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Yeah, I guess. So Woodman's office is way over there. So let me go bum rush everyone. Hey. Me. La 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 la. Beautiful. See? No issues. No drama. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fuck! Run! Fuck, fuck! Are you serious? Time for me to use my work! Nope! Nope! Bye, bitch! Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Anyways. Damn it. I came here to have a nice, good time. Just wanted to talk, but guess what? Y'all don't really want to talk, do you? You just want to shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. But you know what? Fuck it. You want to play dirty? We're we could play dirty. I really don't care. Let's finish it! Oh lord, you guys are so dramatic. But fuck it. I'll play well again. Come on. I'm slicing your ass, bitch. There you go. I off your head. Beautiful. This is beautiful. I love this.
Ah, oh, I love using the stimmy. Okay, bet. I don't have time for this either. What's good? Next. Come on, bitch. Ha, huh, nope. Sorry. Next. This is so fun. I love using the katana. And yeah, I'm being shot at, but fuck it. You fucking whore. Let me just steam myself. Nope. Come on. You're not messing with me. In fact, your ass is gonna die. See, I told you you're gonna die. So anyways, I'm gonna go talk to Woodman. Cause I wanted to have a nice peaceful talk, but y'all yeah, buggin'. So. I'm gonna ask the questions. Drop your iron and start talking. Just stay on point. And I said, drop it. I'm not dropping anything. So you wanna die. Okay, you wanna die. Cool. Stupid ass woodman. I just don't understand. I just don't understand you. Ooh, did he say meow? This bitch dead ass said meow. Alright, so honestly, in terms of the fighting and the gameplay action sequence, I mean, it's pretty chaotic. I mean, if ADD was a game, this would be it in terms of the funny fighting sequences. Um, it's okay. Very chaotic. I prefer using melee weapons instead of guns because of the fact that Anyways, I prefer using the katana instead of the gun. Lots of messages, so let's get started here. Goods are taken care of. Round up five or six girls and two guys, but make sure they're actually young. Not like last time. What the fuck? Heard you specialize in joy toys. Got one here that's busted. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a joy toy's wet dream. Hmm. Got one here that's busted up pretty bad. Mine's taking a look. X for me at clouds. What's wrong with her? Hmm. Message me back about that job at Cloud's got another offer, gotta give them an answer. Not like they're gonna wait forever. That's not how it works. I'm not in charge of hiring, send a portfolio. Oh, so now you're telling me to send a portfolio, because that's not what you said last time when you wanted to fuck me, asshole. Right. Damn. Hey Ginger, how's things? Hope you're in top, top shape as usual and that you haven't literally sucked all your beige contacts bone dry yet. I need a hollow view stat. I know the pigs have one. That's Priam. Wrangle one for me. I also need you to do some sniffing around here. Wrangle? Go wrangle yourself. Let's start over. The little orgy you had with my dolls? Well, they scroll everything. So if you don't want your dear husband to get an email from me, I'm going to need that hell of you tomorrow. Morning. Fine. <laughs> wow. One more, sh one more shit show like with Evelyn Parker and you can kiss your job goodbye. Hiromi Hiromi's words. So far we've put up with your crude behavior towards employees and turn a blind eye when you beat up a client, but this, this was beyond pale. Hey boss, solve the Parker problem, send her to a ripper on Jig Jig Street. 
guy's name is Finger, so he should be called Face. Anyways, he should take care of her from here. Oh, shit. Um, let's get out, bro. Because at this point... I don't see... Oh, fuck me. Are you serious? Okay. Uh, I just don't know why you think you're able to fight me, bro. Like, look, you're dead as hell. Like, you're literally dead as hell. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They think they can harm me, but they can't. Cool. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Come on. Come on! Come on, buddy. You think you can mess with me? Woo! Come on. I almost got killed because of you. Shit, and there's more. There is fucking more people. I'm trying to get a nice little breather here, and y'all just mess everything up. Okay. Let's go. I guess I gotta fight everyone, huh? This is definitely not the ending I want. And I have a, f a good feeling that afterwards... I'm not going to be welcomed back to this nice little clouds place. Because I'm killing everyone. Like, I'm literally killing everyone at this point. Oh, fuck. Shit, really? Really? I'm trying to get away from this fucking place right now. Assholes. Ugh. <sighs> Anyways, I just realized something. I know we're Fallout. If you take a lot of stimmies, you end up being addicted by them. So, I wonder if it's the case with. Oh, he's not here yet anymore. I wonder if it's the case with. With Cyberpunk. Alright, time for me to kill people, yet again. Come on, come on. How are you gonna fuck me up when I'm cutting your ass in pieces, bitch? Like, dead ass. Come on. Come on. Whoa, so I decided to double tap and dodge, and look. Whew! Oh, what a whore. Anyways. Excuse me? You're so fucking rude. I've never in my whole life had had received this type of customer service. I mean, mind you, I'm killing everyone, so. Yeah, that's what I say too when my depression kicks in. Nope. Sorry. Come on. Right in the face! Damn. I have so many guns and weapons I'm picking out on. At this point... Oh, you fucking whore. No, I can't. You really think that I'm just gonna let you shoot me and get away with it? That's why you're a dead bitch, fucking whore. Alright, let's go. Okay, well, I don't give a fuck what you think. You lucky I'm not fucking killing you. Good, keep it that way, baby girl. Bye. Anyways. <sighs> right. Alright. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a... Uh... That's it. Mission accomplished. Thank you so much for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.